Good evening and welcome to the November 29th, 2023 meeting of the Delhi Township Board of Trustees. A little different time starting here at 5 p.m. Again, thank you for your patience. As we do at each and every meeting, we will, we will have the Pledge of Allegiance and then we will have the moment of silence. I think a great moment of silence is for tonight as we celebrate these police, three police officers who are going to be uh, sworn in and elevated to uh, other ranks and positions. And what an incredible night this is. It's a great night for our safety services, especially our police. And I, I think the great moment of silence would be for our all police officers here and around the world. I'm, uh, my editorial comment, uh, the police officers, in my opinion, do not get the respect. And I know you guys feel the same of what you should be getting from this. Not our community, because our community is great. They do support you. But around the country and in certain cities where uh, they wonder why men and women aren't going into this incredible career, incredible vocation of serving and protecting others. And I saw a report that came out of Akron, Ohio today, and I can say it, you guys better not, <laughs> came out of Akron where they found the eight police officers not guilty of violating police policy. And it took them seven months, seven months as those eight police officers had their lives flipped upside down, had protests going on, everything. And you found out through the grand jury who believed the Ohio Attorney General uh, criminal investigation that the officers didn't violate policy. That is the moment of silence for all those who have to go through that. For you men and women in our police division, thank you. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Approval of the uh, overtime, please. Motion to approve the payment of overtime for pay period ending November 14th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes, motion approved. Motion to approve the minutes from the regular meetings on October 25th and November 8th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes, yes motion approved. Motion to approve bills for payment? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes, motion is approved. Report from the fiscal officer, Mr. Luby. We'll save our significant transactions for till, until next meeting. Thank you, Mr. Luby. Trustee correspondence, Trustee Sturts. I want to thank the um, Delhi Business Association for a wonderful meeting last night. Uh, it dealt with Delhi uh, Town Square. Not only did they have their business meeting, but they allowed us to present our development up there and answer a lot of questions. So thank you for the residents who came out, asked the questions, and hopefully um, that will um, stop some of the rumors or people saying they don't know. I have one woman that was there, put it on Facebook today, God bless her, and said, here's the truth. We heard it. I was there. And so thank you. We hope uh, everybody's as proud of that project as we are. And thank you, Viridian, for coming and telling your story on your apartments. Very good. <laughs> Trustee Seavey? Uh, nothing then. I thank you. Thank you. Uh, we are going to jump to the resolution 2023-177 with the fire department. Chief Campbell? We have resolution 2023-177, authorizing renewal agreement with Time Clock Plus LLC, a lab tech scheduling software solutions for the fire department, authorizing the township administrate, administrator to execute necessary documents, declaring an emergency and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Discussion on this resolution, Chief? Just in short, we've been dealing with this company for 15 years in terms of our scheduling, and this is a five-year extension of a contract that just fixes the increases. Thank you. Hey. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. We now have a special presentation tonight, the police promotional process and ceremonial swearing in. Chief, Ron. Good evening, everybody. Bear with me, I got like a 45 minute speech to give. Ah. <laughs> no. 
really and truly, this isn't about me tonight. This is about the three gentlemen that are getting promoted. So I just wanted to formally thank you all for, for allowing this to occur. Thank Administrator uh, Miller and HR Director Hermes for helping us out with the process. I will tell you that, uh, you know, I always knew we had good people, but going through this process just reaffirmed that any, everybody that was in the process could do the job. I mean, we are truly blessed to have I mean, the, the men and women that we have working for us. I mean, we hear it all the time, but I mean, just for me to see it that in that, that way, and Jim and I have always talked about how hard it is to make these decisions when you're doing promotions, but, you know, there were some sleepless nights for me, but I can tell you that the three people before you are, are going to do a fabulous job and be grand ambassadors. So with that being said, um, we'll, we'll bring up Jared Meyer. Jared? <coughs> so Jared Meyer graduated from Colerain High School in 2002, but we won't hold that against you because that's why Jim hired him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jared was a deputy sheriff for Hamilton County Sheriff's Department from 2003 to 2008. I uh, went to the Patrol Academy in 2005. He was promoted to Road Patrol in 2006, and uh, we stole them from the county in 2008. Um, Jared does a lot of our training, with the defensive tactics, firearms, active shooter response, um, all less lethal platforms that we have. Um, Jared was promoted to Corporal in, in 2017, promoted to Sergeant in November of 2018. And he, he currently is a team captain with the H, uh, HCPA Mobile Field Force team. Um, last year, uh, you guys were at the awards banquet. He was given the, the award for, or earned, I should say, for Supervisor of the Year, um, which obviously he, it, Jared does a fantastic job. He recently received his associate's degree in uh, law enforcement. Um, he is married to Beth, and they reside in Harrison with their two children, Lucas and Charlotte. And this evening, uh, Jared will be pinned by his wife, Beth. Mr. Great. Davis, thank you. you all right, raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Jared Meyer, do solemnly swear, <coughs> do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. And the resolutions of the Township of Delhi. And the resolutions of the Township of Delhi. And I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And perform all the duties incumbent upon me. And perform all the duties incumbent upon me. As a lieutenant of the Delhi Township Police Department, so help me God. As a lieutenant of the Delhi Township Police Department, so help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Well so next we're going to bring before you uh, Sergeant Adam Cox. Adam graduated from Oak Hills High School in 1991. He obtained two associate's degrees from Cincinnati State in business finance and criminal justice. He returned to college and earned a bachelor's degree in philosophy with a minor in business administration from NKU, attended Scarlet Oaks Police Academy and was hired by, D, or hired by us in February of 97. He was assigned to investigation division from 2010 um, for, for about 11 years and then he was brought back to the road and he was promoted to corporal in uh, September of 21. Adam is married to his wife Joanna and they reside in Miami Township and they have four children, Kirsten, Ava, Liam, and Will. This evening, Adam will be pinned by his father, Sergeant Glenn Cox. Come on up, buddy. Mr. Davis. <clears throat> I, I, Adam Cox, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and laws of the State of Ohio. The Constitution and laws of the State of Ohio. And the resolutions of the Township of Delhi. And the resolutions of the Township of Delhi. And I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And perform all the duties incumbent upon me. And perform all the duties incumbent upon me. As a sergeant of the Delhi Township Police Department, so as help me God. As a sergeant of the Delhi Township Police Department, so help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. I forgot the ring. 
<laughs> Not again. <laughs> So obviously I rushed through Jared's and I apologize. <laughs> Beth, yeah. Beth didn't get a chance to pin Jared, so I apologize. Ceremoniously, yeah. <laughs> teach him how to stick a pen in it? Yeah. Good. I was going to do that real quick. So Michael was born and raised in Delhi. Graduated from Oak Hills High School in 2008. He uh, received an associate's degree from the University of Cincinnati. He was a member of the uh, Delhi Police Department Explorer Post from 2004 until 2010, where he reached the rank of captain. Part-time clerk with Delhi Police Department from 08 to 2012. He was hired as a patrol officer with Delhi in June of 2012. He was assigned to the uh, Drug Abuse Reduction Task Force from 17 to 21. Uh, he was a DEA task force officer from 19 to 21. Uh, he's been a training officer with, for us since 2022. Mary, uh, Michael was married uh, to Lauren Gurdy, and they reside in Delhi with their four children, Mitchell, Maverick, Lucy, Lila. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> and this evening, Michael will be pinned by his son, MJ. If Mr. Davis wants to step Aww. forward, then we'll get the pinning done. Raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Michael L. Gurdy, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution and laws, that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America, of the United States of America, the Constitution and laws of the State of Ohio, the Constitution and laws of the State of Ohio, and the resolutions of the Township of Delhi, and the resolutions of the Township of Delhi, and I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me and perform all the duties incumbent incumbent upon me as a corporal of the Delhi Township Police Department. So help me God. As a corporal of the Delhi Township Police Department. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Can you top that? You Thank can. you. <laughs> Congratulations again. Congratulations. <laughs> we will officially take a three minute break uh, for those that do not want to stay for the rest of the meeting, another four hours. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even staying. <laughs> That's right. No, I'm not staying. <laughs> Chief Howarth, great to see you back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, All Chief, right. that Thanks, was... Thanks, everyone, uh, for being here. We really appreciate it. That was it. two Oak Hills to one Cole Rain. I'd like to mention that, that number. We're going to proceed with hiring recommendations, please. Mr. Luby. A motion to approve the hiring of Kyle R. Wansnyder as part-time firefighter EMT in the fire department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association upon successful completion of the state of Ohio EMT certification voice stress analyzer pre-employment physical and drug testing, effective on November 29th, 2023. Did you do the so moved? You're not going to, oh, so moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. yes. A, a motion carries. <clears throat> motion to approve the hiring of Christy M. Barrett as part-time firefighter EMT in the fire department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association upon successful completion of the state of Ohio EMT certification Voice stress analyzer, pre-employment physical, and drug testing, effective on November 29th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to approve the hiring of Noah M. Grubbs as part-time firefighter EMT in the fire department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association, 
Upon successful completion of the State of Ohio EMT certification, voice stress analyzer, pre-employment physical and drug testing, effective on November 29th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to the hiring of Forrest B. Hale as part-time firefighter EMT in the fire department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association upon successful completion of the State of Ohio EMT certification, voice stress analyzer, pre-employment physical and drug testing, effective on November 29th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. A motion to approve the hiring of Lucas M. Wagner, Lucas A. Wagner, as part-time firefighter EMT in the fire department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association upon successful completion of the State of Ohio EMT certification, voice stress analyzer, pre-employment physical and drug testing, effective on November 29th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. A motion to approve the hiring of Grant M. Rui as part-time firefighter EMT in the fire department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association upon successful completion of the State of Ohio EMT certification, voice stress analyzer, pre-employment physical and drug testing, effective on November 29th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to approve the hiring of Noah S. Sammons as part-time firefighter paramedic in the fire department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association upon successful completion of the voice stress analyzer, pre-employment physical and drug testing, effective on November 29th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. A motion to approve the hiring of Dawson R. Rice as part-time firefighter EMT in the fire department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association upon successful completion of the State of Ohio EMT certification, voice stress analyzer, pre-employment physical and drug testing, effective on November 29th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. Welcome to our seven, is that what it was? Eight. Eight. Eight new firefighters. Well, good job. Well, uh, <laughs> this is the culmination of what I discussed back in May. Um, at that time, we had 10 part-timers on the department. We've hired 23 as of this meeting. Um, we expect them to go active in January, and this is the first huge leap that we've had in our recruiting process. Um, going in, recruiting recruits while they're in fire school, talking to them about Delhi and really selling this community before they have a chance to look anywhere else. And again, it's something you're seeing in the police force. It's something we've got to tackle with the fire department. And clearly, I, I, my hat's off to all the folks involved in the department that go out and recruit us strong. These are representatives um, outside of Scarlet Oaks, whose class graduates in December, and Cincinnati State and Butler Tech. So we are really reaching out to a multitude of places. So, um, yeah, the price is, uh, is, is definitely paying off in terms of what we're able to bring to the table for recruitment. This only helps us operate with more personnel. That's, that's what we need. We need to get to the point where we can safely operate and continue our great service. I hate to ask this question, but do they have an opportunity to say we, we're deciding not to come or are they committed? Was it like letters signing day? They do, <laughs> and, and it's one of those things where um, with the rate change that we've already implemented, mm -hmm. what we're doing within the department, these are all things that kind of get the meat hooks in them early. They're giving us that first opportunity. Normally what we're up against is they go apply to 12 other places and we're one of the ones holding the bag. This time we're kind of first. Okay. Um, we went in and we were really trying to focus on bringing in the best of the best out of these. Um, so, you know, we had a great opportunity to do this. Um, I haven't sat on this many applications in years. I think as a, maybe assistant chief back in 2009 was the last time. So. It's really working, but this is, it's a team effort on part of the folks in the fire department getting involved, getting out in the communities, and certainly trying to make a good case to, to come to Delhi. So we're very, very happy. Yeah. I, I think this is wonderful because you set for your goal was going to be recruit and train and, and you certainly, and, and retain. 
retain. That retain. is the challenge. Yep. Now that we've recruited, we will work on retaining our new recruits. And congratulations, you've done a great job on that. So we've seen you. it in the news. The the Cincinnati Fire is about ready to do their test release. We know we have folks on our department that have tested with them. The challenge is going to be not bleeding out and hemorrhaging as many. But these hires do offset that. So that's it's definitely going to help us. I appreciate the board's support in all this as well. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of work. Um, any updates? <clears throat> this is it. This is, this is it. personnel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is, this is big. Yeah. And uh, more to come on Operation Santa. I know people have been asking about it. We will put it out in our social media and stuff like that. So sure. the fire department will be taking care of Santa duties this year. So I'm surprised you're not going to give your usual holiday warning about overloading your extension cords. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, it goes without saying. Just there saying. are some simple <laughs> Fire safety habits you can get into. Please water your trees, and as soon as the Christmas season's over, get those live trees out of the house. Absolutely. And don't overload your electrical Thank circuits. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, Parks and Recreation. <clears throat> we have a motion to accept the voluntary resignation of seasonal Parks and Recreation worker Andrew J. Kaplinger, effective November 23rd, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Uh, motion carries. Motion to accept the voluntary resignation of seasonal parks and recreation worker Michael J. Klepfer, effective November 23rd, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. Motion to accept the voluntary resignation of seasonal parks and recreation worker Louis J. Nye Jr., effective November 13th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. We I know Randy, they really help you out. Yeah, that's in, the, in the same summer. as every year. They have to resign for the year, and then we rehire back if they choose to come back. Right. So we'll put it out again in early uh, February for more uh, more help next year, too. So, Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Updates. <clears throat> uh, just a few. We are winding down a little bit. Um, we are putting up uh, today, I guess Skylar put up, we put up the uh, Christmas decor on the corner uh, along with the road department crew and our crew. So we got that finished today for the parade coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're also winding up a few projects for the year. It is coming down to a few end, ending dates. Um, and already we're scheduling for 2024 events and uh, scheduling. So it's, it's happening really quick again. So already getting booked and things are happening. Good, so, good. Yeah. Trustee Seavey? No, that's, that's, I, that was me honking at you on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> there was quite a few honking we heard of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you. It thank looks you. great. Thank yes. You. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Police Department. We don't have any resolutions, but how about an update? <clears throat> Besides the wonderful one we just had. So I'd like to publicly thank the DCPA. I don't know. You, you guys might not be aware of it yet, but they voted to purchase a car and donate it to the police department for uh, Kaylee Vickers to drive. So she, cause she was driving a 2011 drug seizure car. Sometimes it still smelled like marijuana. So, <laughs> so she was well overdue for a car and it, it obviously saved our budget, uh, you know, about $30,000. So a huge oh. thank you to the DCPA folks. A Lam Lamborghini or what do we get? <laughs> Ford, Ford Escape. Ford okay. <laughs> Um, I know Christmas parade was mentioned. Keep in mind that Delhi Pike's going to be closed from 9:30 to about 10:30 on Saturday. So, for all the listeners out there, if you have any questions, call the police station, or you can call Mr. Jenkins. He'll be glad to help you. Um, on a side note, for the holiday season, if you're getting a lot of gifts delivered, just keep in mind um, if you leave them on your porch all day, there's to, there could risk that theft to, to occur. You know, if you see something, say something. Call us if you got suspicious people in your neighborhood. Um, and last but not least. Um, We've all heard it since the, the VIP shooting of how crime's going rampant in Delhi. Mm -hmm. I took an opportunity to, to review our crime stats, and I'm happy to report that our crime is down 10% from last year. So obviously, your violent crime is up a tick or two, but overall, um, we've taken about 90 less reports this year than last year at this time. So to everybody listening, obviously Delhi is safe, and we're happy to take care of you. So anybody have any questions? No. No. Um, I did see on Facebook, God bless its soul. Um, does it even have a soul? But anyway, somebody was saying that they uh, that online there are the statistics from 2021, our crime rates, and not updated. I'll check. So they were going to do a deep dive. 
because the, they, the same thing you're hearing, they thought our crime was up. So it'd be nice if... So I will tell you, um, just to, to put a plug out there, obviously the crime stats are out there on LexisNexis, so they're all out there now, so it automatically okay. uploads into that. Okay. So what, what, what I'll probably, I should do is, and I will do, is put maybe an educational piece out there to tell people where those are at. Okay, um, all right. Because I think it was on our website, Delhi's website is where she said she found it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I didn't go looking, but it's nice to know, to put that out there. Okay. We'll get, we'll get it fixed. I appreciate it, thank Anything you. Anything else? No, thanks for everything you do. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Public Works. We have a motion to accept roads in Heather Ridge subdivision as township roads, which have been inspected and approved by the Hamilton County Engineer. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Motion carries. <clears throat> that neighborhood is completely finished? I believe they're finishing up one more house. The 19th house. There's still house. a little bit of stuff going on up there. I know uh, if you went by there at all in the past year or two, it was uh, very busy. It was probably one of the fastest yeah. subdivisions I've ever seen mm -hmm. built, which it's not too many houses. I like think it's 18 or something, 15. But uh, the builder's been great to work with, and uh, yeah, it, this will follow in probably a couple of months with no parking resolution, so I can bring some pictures in. Okay. Who establishes those? You or the police department? Or is it just the no parking? The uh, public works does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Update? Um, mm -hmm. Nothing too much. Let's see. Uh, Mount Alverno had a reclamite treatment today, I believe they started, and they'll probably finish it tomorrow. This is something the township also does. We're on a different time frame from when they do it. I believe they just paved and they do it a month later. We usually wait a year. But uh, it's just. Um, preserves and uh, oh, okay. increases the longevity of the street, they say. So, so it's a topping? Um, it's like a liquid oil okay. substance. More of a penetrating treatment. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But okay. in case anybody's wondering, it's probably a little messy, but they should have it cleaned up tomorrow. We usually don't get many calls as far as anybody complaining. Okay. So other than that, uh, preparing for winter, snow and ice stuff. I think our mechanic has... Uh, about one more truck to finish up, but temperatures are staying good. We're good on salt? For now. I saw snowflakes yesterday. <laughs> I saw snowflakes. I watch what I say because I'm... <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> It'll always come back to bite you, right? Yeah. It All it takes is a week of snow straight, and then I'll retract. <laughs> right. Trusty CB, anything? I'm good. All yeah. right. It well, kind of slowed you. down. A lot of the paving's finished, so it's quieted down. That's good. All right. And All that right. all looks great. Thanks. Yeah, Thank it does you. look good. And we did get some good feedback on Mount Averno and stuff, so good. residents are happy. Good. I'm sorry, Ron, but could you tell me when they're going to put the crosswalk in at the on the knee by the fire station for the Mount kids to cross? I want us, the, the concrete work is done. Yeah. But the uh, they were waiting on temperatures, and I want to say it might be this Friday. Okay. If, if In the rain? Okay, yeah. it could be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to rain all day Friday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they did tell me they're trying to get it in if temperatures hold out. If not, it might be spring, but they're trying to. Okay. So, so you're saying there's concrete there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They, they did the curb cut, I guess. Oh, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. but not the bump. Right. Not or the, the, the painting the or whatever is going to be there. Correct. Okay, the yes. painting. Okay. Good question now. <laughs> Great. All right. Thanks. Thank you. All right, administration. <clears throat> All right, I get to I get to show off fun pictures of uh, uh, Delhi Town Square. So, uh, just want to continue to highlight, uh, you know, the majority of the work that the public is going to be seeing on site is uh, in the lawn area. Uh, here in a couple weeks, I think we're going to actually see the you know the turf uh, uh, laid out. Uh, you're also going to see exterior work on the uh, apartments uh, continuing. Uh, the majority of the exterior work on the, the west side buildings is, is complete. I think they still have some storefront style uh, doors to put on on the on the lawn side, uh, but the majority of those finishes are done. They have a sign going up as well. <clears throat> this is south end of the lawn. Uh, again, we've got a little bit of curb work, a little bit of additional sidewalk. Uh, there has been uh, some uh, some some base layer paving uh, that's been done, but again, it's it's really shaping up, looking good. Same thing, the exterior of our building is done with the exception of some of the doors. Uh, you know, again, really shaping up, looking good. Uh, finishes around the windows look nice. 
Uh, interior work, this is our main corridor, uh, continues. Uh, window finishings uh, on the upper floor are being finished right now, as well as the flooring. The township admin spaces are uh, uh, getting some additional treatments. Uh, you can see here the wood slat uh, ceiling is being installed with the integrated lights. We have the, um, uh, the reception window as well as the zoning consult sliding windows. Our conference room, uh, window treatments on the front are, well, there's still some, some window panes to be installed, uh, but they're working on that, that, that same style wood slat with integrated lighting now. Pool area, uh, the ceiling's getting finished, so they had, to, they had to caulk and paint over the pool, so there was some uh, scaffolding work that had to be done. Upstairs casework uh, is, is being worked on, as well as um, the, uh, kind of the base layer uh, work to prep for that, that, that flooring. Bathroom tile in the, uh, in the locker rooms is, uh, is being reworked a little bit, but uh, this, is, this is now the finished product. So we've got the, uh, uh, the stalls to be installed now. Our new township dais is, uh, is now framed up. We have the, the flooring on. They're about to uh, run the electric for that. Uh, and then uh, start start preparing for for the casework on the other side. Okay. This is the area out in front of our uh, new meeting space. Uh, so it's kind of the uh, the gallery area, and the garage doors. Let me see here. The garage doors have been installed, so you can see the you know those those glass garage doors. Um, you know, very exciting. Uh, the ceiling in this area is actually I don't know if you can see it. No. I didn't get a good picture of it. They just started installing the uh, these these vertical baffles in that area. So generally, it's a you know it's an open. Um, I don't want to say unfinished, but it's it's an exposed ceiling. But then there's these vertical baffles that that come down to uh, you know kind of mitigate that that sound echo. Uh, but it's a it's a pretty neat architectural feature to the site as well, to the space. So that's all I have. Uh, there is not a, uh, from a community development standpoint, we do not have um, any public nuisances or abatements tonight, so I can turn it over to Joy for an economic development update, unless there's any questions for me on the administration side. Nope. Okay. We're good. Thank you. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Ms. Pearson? <clears throat> good evening. Good evening. Yeah. I just have one uh, topic to update. To, to give you an update on. It's the, uh, the Climate Pollution Reduction Grant, which I talked about a couple weeks ago. Um, this is an EPA grant that is um, a, a block grant that's coming, there's $5 billion throughout the whole country, and our fair share for our region would be $40 million. The um, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana Regional Council of Governments is the lead agency, and um, individual communities can receive between $2 million and $500 million. So th the, notice of, the notice of intention to apply is due on December 1st. So we have, have a laundry list of items. Um, we are working with Ohio, Hamilton County and OKI, and they will take the lead on the actual applications but I'll give you some ideas of the kinds of things that we could fund. Um, I also want to say this is a one-time deal. So I was under the impression it was an annual block grant, but it is not. So we're going to go for it and try to get as much as we can. Um, some ideas are um, purchasing electronic vehicles. We can apply for funding for electronic vehicle chargers throughout Delhi Town Square and anywhere else in the, in the township. We can replace LED lights. Uh, we can do upgrades to park restrooms, the senior center, uh, township buildings, um, as well as any energy audit work. So the, the sky's the limit. We, we could also work with Hamilton County on a recycling program or a composting program. But the, the problem is that once we start something, we have to continue it. So. Our, our goal is to look for one time, you know, best uh, return on investment for these kind of expenditures. So that, that will be, um, the applications are due in April and we will have awards by August and they want us to spend the money as soon as possible. So I'll keep you informed on that. Great. Great. Stevie? Thanks, Joy. Any comments? No. Yeah, no, that's okay. great. Thank you, sounds good. <clears throat> All right, I don't have anybody signed up for public comments. Did you want to talk about the parade? Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Parade's all set. Um, it'll start about 9.30. We're going to have divisions show up somewhere right around 8 o'clock and start lining up in their designated spots. I will be at Dominic by 7 a.m. to assist anybody that needs help. And hope for good weather. It's supposed to be nice. Friday's supposed to be really bad. Saturday's Friday's supposed, supposed, supposed to be, nice. to be really rainy. Yeah, yeah. So have we received where we have to be? Are we just assuming we're, on, we're at the same place? We're on uh, Division okay. 4 on Plum Street, and I think our position might be 4. Okay, so you received so. the information. We know we're. Yeah, I've, I've got it on my phone. I think I'll Mike let you got guys it. Know but I know we're on Plum Street. Right. I'm, I'm not sure what division that is, but yeah, you know, we're on Plum, and I think we're Plum Street. Vehicle four. Yeah, I'll let you know real quick when I look up my on my phone because I got everything there. Yeah, I, I, I want to thank I, Chief Braun for all his help with the police department, and then Ron for getting us some cones and barricades and stuff that we need to shut down a couple streets. Perfect. But other than that, we're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, we can go into announcement of community events, please. <clears throat> Good segue. Okay. Uh, the Delhi Christmas Parade, sponsored by the Delhi Business Association, again this Saturday, December 2nd at 9.30 a.m. You are invited to join your neighbors on Delhi Pike for a celebration of the Christmas season. Parade route, again, starting, on, uh, starting at St. Dominic to Delhi Fair Shopping Center. There we go. Delhi Branch Library, December programs, Magic with Tom, is it Beams? Bims? I'm going to go with Bims. It is <laughs> Monday, December 11th uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, for an hour till 8 p.m. at 5095 Foley Road. Come be amazed by the magic of Tom Bims. Christmas gift cards is Saturday, December 16th uh, at 10 a.m. until noon. Again, at 5095 Foley Road, drop in the library to make crafts to celebrate the Christmas season. Tales to Tales with Winston is Thursday, December 21st from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Again at the library, this is for children of all ages. Read a story with Winston, the library's certified therapy dog. <laughs> Register by calling our uh, or visiting the library the day of the event. Magic the Gathering Game Night is Thursday, December 28th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Again at the library. This is a monthly game night open to all ages. Experienced players and novices are welcome. Bring your own deck or borrow from their stash donated by Magic Kids. Christmas Tree Recycling, sponsored by the Delhi Parks Department, will be available December 27th through January 12th uh, at Floral Paradise Gardens at 41, or excuse me, 461 Greenwell Avenue. Christmas trees will be shredded and used as mulch throughout the parks. No plastic bags, please. Uh, please also remove any ornaments, tinsel, and lights. Call the Parks Department for more information. All right, very good. We have no need to go into um, executive session, so if we can have a motion to adjourn, please. With no further business brought before this board, we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Um, thank you for being here. Upcoming meetings, uh, for your information, we have our budget work session on December 12th at 1.30 p.m. And our regular meeting is, we're only going to have one in December. It's the 20th. And that starts at 3 p.m. Okay. So, everybody, thank you. Have a safe couple weeks. And uh, when is Kids, Cops, and Firefighters? That's coming up too, right? 16th. The, the shopping is the 16th? 16th. 16th. Okay. Very good. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Good night.